Ganymede is Jupiter's largest moon and is also the largest moon in the entire solar system. It was discovered by Galileo Galilei on January 7, 1610. It is bigger than both Mercury and dwarf planet Pluto and only slightly smaller than Mars. The moon likely has a salty ocean underneath its icy surface, making it a potential location for life. It is about 4.5 billion years old, about the same age as Jupiter. Ganymede is the seventh moon and third Galilean satellite outward from Jupiter, orbiting at about 665,000 miles or 1,070 million kilometers. It takes Ganymede about seven Earth days to orbit Jupiter. Daytime temperatures on the surface average ranging from minus 171 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 297 degree Fahrenheit, according to NASA. Ganymede is the only satellite in the solar system to have a magnetosphere. Typically found in planets, including Earth and Jupiter, a magnetosphere is a comet-shaped region in which charged particles are trapped or deflected. Ganymede's magnetosphere is entirely embedded within the magnetosphere of Jupiter. What would happen if Ganymede were our moon? That is an interesting question. A key parameter to know would be how far it would be from the Earth. Let's assume it would be at the same distance as our moon. Then it would appear much brighter and also bigger in the sky. Ganymede reflects light almost four times better and the area of its disk is two times larger. So we would have day-like brightness on a full moon night. And its mass is also two times larger than that of our moon the ocean tides created would also be twice as large. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel.